Hey guys, for 2018, I want to be the Starbucks of the lawn care industry. I want that 20%. You can keep the 80%. That's fine. I want to be the one. Guys, Johnny with Blades Grass Lawn Care. I'm sharpening some blades um, that I have sitting there. Pretty cool, huh? That's my little setup, guys. This is the way I sharpen my blades. You know, quick and easy. Uh, battery powered grinder with a, let me see, what is it? Uh, I can't see right now, holding one hand. But it's a uh, Milwaukee M8, M18 sharpener. In a uh, works table, uh, works Pegasus table that I got for for the Christmas. <laughs> Asked my wife for it, and she uh, gave it to me. So, guys, again, you know, here I am. You know, small business, and uh, I don't have a big grinder, guys. Um, at the end of the day, I don't think that you need to spend all that money on a blade sharpener. Um, and there's all my blades. They're all sharpened and ready to roll. Hey guys, uh, hope everybody's doing well. So it's right after Christmas and I'm over here um, sharpening some blades. One of the questions that I get a lot is um, how come I have a storage unit and I'm not running my uh, business from my garage or I don't have a separate building to run my business from and basically the way I see it is this is extremely convenient for instance I don't have to put any utilities here and the convenience is let me show you real quick see if you can see it there you go I have a power outlet outlet right there where I can plug my stuff in and bring the extension and my water is right there so I can hook up a hose and here I am washing my equipment, washing everything and I don't have to pay for it. And guys, let me tell you, the amount that I pay for my storage unit, hell, I tell you, I'm paying $200 a month. Well, $197, yeah, $197 a month. And this is, uh, this is my unit, you know, big enough, big enough to, uh, to do what I do and, uh, you know, it is extremely convenient. Um, another reason, guys, that um, I, I, I like doing this because, again, I like to separate my business from my home. You know what I mean? I don't want to have par uh, my, my business truck park out there. So when I'm chilling on the weekends or whatever, somebody drive up and say, hey, you know, oh, you guys do yard and you guys do lawn. And I understand, you know, some of you may like it, but I like to, you know, when I'm, when I'm off, I'm off. You know, unlike, you know, other people. When I'm off, I'm off. I'm not thinking about lawn. I don't want no one bothering me, even if it's a lead. You know, that's just me. I don't want to talk about lawns. I don't want to talk about properties. I don't want to talk about anything else but to relax and chill with the family when I'm, when I'm at home. So that's one of the reasons why I don't, uh, I don't subscribe to, you know, working from the house. Um, another thing is, you know, they provide the security, you know, they have security cameras, they have barbed wires around the whole perimeter. Um, they have the uh, manager that lives 
on premises. Um, what else? I uh, don't have don't have an issue, guys. And if for any reason I decide to extend or if I need something bigger, all I have to do is move to a bigger unit and pay a little bit more. You know, I don't have to pay taxes on I don't have to pay property taxes. I don't have to pay utilities. I don't have to pay or even worry about the security when it comes to a, uh, a separate building. Um, for my situation, this is working extremely well. Um, and I'm sure, you know, it depends on where you at. If you own a lot of land, of course, you know, I don't see why not build your separate shed and, and you know, have your business there. I, I don't see a problem with it. But um, I did it from the house. Uh, and it was a little bit inconvenient because, again, you know, you're out there working on your mowers and, and you know, you're, you're, you're at home. You know, you guys meet up at your house. And, and it's just, it's, 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 it's too, too, too much into my personal life. You know, I like to keep it separated. Um, what I ever have, let me change hands here. Oh, one second. Okay. Would I ever have uh, my own building? Who knows? Who knows? Right now, things are great. Um, things are great. I'm saving a, an, a, an extremely amount of money, guys, um, when it comes to... Uh, securing and, and and keeping by my equipment without any issues you know yes there is a threat of you know somebody coming in and stealing your stuff but again you know if you check out the video that I did prior to this one you know I've taken a lot of measures um, when it comes to you know securing my equipment so but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that basically this is a reason why I kind of like you know having my equipment over here and you know here I am um, you know chilling uh, I have my radio up there again you know not plugging Milwaukee but I have my Milwaukee M18 radio up there <laughs> and all my tools are Milwaukee anyway so I use the battery power and it, and it functions with everything including my lights and everything so and I'm over here chilling doing what I have to do sharpening all my blades um, couldn't go to work today because again it's it's raining uh, the whole day so uh, you know Quest is chilling having an extended vacation for the holidays and you know who knows we may uh, go out tomorrow and blow some properties over but um, uh, as of right now it's supposed to rain tomorrow also and then it's supposed to freeze on uh, Friday and rain so you know I mean if we don't get to it then that's fine you know life goes on we will jump on the other week uh, beginning of the year and um, again you know do what we have to do so hey guys if you have uh, suggestions you know other guys again like I said before this is extremely convenient for me for my situation but if I had property you know big big land and all of that of, of course of course I'm gonna build something and have it separated but I don't like working from my garage because again home is home and business is business plus again guys this is tax deductible uh, and I'm not gonna go <laughs> into uh, you know how you deduct it all that you know I'm hope you guys have a CPA or somebody doing your taxes but you know I can uh, you know this is you know it, it is uh, uh, an expand uh, expenditure of my my business in order for me to do my business so therefore you know I can deduct it in my taxes okay uh, so yeah if, if you guys have uh, you know other ways that you uh, you know locations where you do your businesses and stuff like that you know let me know on the uh, in in the link below, and uh, my next video, guys, I'm working on a uh, uh, my forecast because um, I'm going to get rid of uh, you know some string string trimmers. I'm going to upgrade because, as you guys know, I like to keep my equipment um, within uh, uh, three years. You know, my handhelds every three years I I, I go usually upgrade to uh, the next level. So. I'm looking at upgrading my uh, string trimmers and my edger, which uh, should be falling within the three-year mark here. So, you know, again, it's, you know, we'll see if I, I go three or three and a half years um, upgrading my equipment. But uh, I'm starting to do a little bit of rambling, guys, again. Uh, this is the reason why I have the, uh, the storage. I can come over here and do what I have to do and don't worry about, you know, having people coming up to me or, you know, just having all that bulk of stuff 
uh, in my in my yard or uh, at home vehicles park at home and all at home and all of that good stuff all right guys once again uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos uh, please like and subscribe guys um, you know click that button click that button and become a sub and don't forget to hit the bell so anytime I put out a video you get notified but guys again I appreciate you um, and look forward to the next video guys where I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna do next year and uh, I have some some really 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 uh, 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 exciting exciting ideas that I'm gonna do for my business um you know my goal guys I want to be the Starbucks of the lawn care industry you know what I mean and you heard it first okay I don't want to be like anybody else I understand again don't take it personal but I want to be the Starbucks in Savannah of the lawn care industry guys thank you for taking the time to watch my videos pop smoke peace